Everyone who's ever seen a chicken knows that their eyes are on the side of their head. But what kind of advantage does that give them? Since humans' eyes are on the front of their head, they're only limited to 180 degree vision, which leaves an extremely large blind spot behind them. Chicken's eyes, on the other hand, give them a lot broader vision. They get to utilize a wide range at 300 degrees with only a small blind spot behind them. Humans have the ability to use both eyes simultaneously and merge the slightly different images seen by each eye into a single three dimension perception. This binocular vision allows humans to have excellent depth perception and accurate judgment of distance and size. Since chickens' eyes are on the sides of their heads, they have monocular vision, which is common in birds, providing them with a panoramic view of their surroundings. This wide field of vision allows them to monitor for potential predators or threats from multiple angles. Humans have the ability to move their eyes within their eye sockets without having to turn their entire head. This is called ocular mobility or eye mobility. Our eyes are designed to rotate and shift independently, allowing us to look different directions without moving our head. Chickens, on the other hand, have a more limited ability to move their eyes. Their eyes are more fixed within their skulls and they don't have the same range of motions as humans. To see something to the side or behind them, chickens need to turn their entire head, which is why you may notice them making quick, jerky head movements. Chickens have a unique visual adaptation where one eye is nearsighted and they call it myopic and the other eye is farsighted and it's called hyperopic. The nearsighted eye is adept to detecting movement and objects up close, such as insects or seeds on the ground. The hyperopic or farsighted eye faces forward and is focusing on distant objects such as potential predators. These adaptations contribute to their unique ability to be highly aware of both their close surroundings and distant threats at the same time. Chickens have a specialized visual adaptation called double cones in their retinas. This allows them to see and process fast moving objects effectively. Having double cones is crucial for detecting potential predators as the slightest movement can indicate danger. This allows chickens to quickly spot the movement of predators such as hawks or foxes and react by fleeing or taking cover. The double cones also helps the chickens find insects by enhancing their ability to detect a wide range of colors. This enables them to spot insects more easily against the background, making their foraging efforts more effective. Let's use a fluorescent light as an example. To humans, this light often appears as a bright and constant source of illumination. Chickens, on the other hand, have a faster visual processing. This heightened sensitivity to light results in the perception of a flickering effect that could be really irritating or uncomfortable for the chickens. Human's ability to see color is called trichomatic vision. This is the ability to see color based on the presence of three types of color receptors or cones in the retina. These colors are red, green, and blue. These cones allow humans to distinguish a wide range of colors by processing different combinations of signals from these three types of receptors. The scientific term for how chickens perceive color is called tetrachromatic vision. Tetrachromatic vision involves the presence of four types of color receptors or cones in the retinas, blue, green, red, and ultraviolet. Picture a beautiful forest with bright green trees and birds in stunning colors. Then think of open fields covered in colorful flowers. Chickens see all these colors and more. Exploring these images help us see their colorful world. For chickens, the world bursts with an array of hues beyond our imagination. So the next time you see a chicken scratching in the dirt, pecking at bugs, or clucking contently in your backyard, remember that these feathered friends are more than just barnyard animals. They're descendants of creatures that roamed the earth during the Jurassic period. And their extraordinary vision and vibrant world reminds us that there's so much more to these birds than meets the eye. It's a testament to the wonder and diversity of life on our planet, from ancient history to the colorful present. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you guys next time.